Manchester City have avenged Wembley heartbreak from three months prior after overcoming Manchester United on penalties to win the Community Shield. Both teams probed for an opener during the first half, with James McAtee hitting the post for the citizens before Ahmed Diallo spearheaded a United resurgence down the other end. The Red Devils remained on top after the break and took the lead through a piece of individual brilliance from Alejandro Garnaco with eight minutes to play. Bernardo Silva headed in at the death to equalize and take the game to a shootout, and despite missing his spot kick, his blushes were spared by Manuel Akinji who fired in the decisive penalty to kick off City's season in dream fashion. Still without a handful of senior stars, Pep Guardiola opted for a more youthful lineup, offering a senior debut to 19-year-old Nico O'Reilly and a starting berth for McAtee, who made his return after a two-season loan spell at Sheffield United. It was a relatively sedate start to the contest, with both teams opting to ease their way back into action after a summer away. The game soon kicked more into derby gear as City experienced joy down the flanks, utilizing the threats of Jeremy Doku and Oscar Bob to create the first openings of the afternoon. Moments after firing over the bar from inside the box, Bob pounced on a loose ball from Lisandro Martinez to give McAtee a golden opportunity to open the scoring only for the England U21 international to hit the post. With the pendulum seemingly swinging towards the blue side of Manchester, United began to cause concern of their own, with Diallo weaving between Doku and Ruben Dias before curling just wide. Diallo then delightfully linked up with Casemiro and Bruno Fernandes to break in behind, but instead of slotting home himself, the Ivorian squared it to an unexpected Mason Mount for a tap-in, who agonizingly watched the ball pass him by. United continued on the ascendancy as the first half drew to a close and could have easily gone into the interval ahead through Marcus Rashford, who failed to find the far corner after being picked out unmarked on the left side of the box. Eric Ten Hag's men picked up where they left off after the restart and soon thought they had the lead through an absolute corker from Fernandez, spectacularly bending one into the top corner from the edge of the area on 54 minutes. However, the offside flag promptly went up as the net began to ripple, something the United skipper appeared to expect, hence his muted initial celebration. Fernandez was at the heart of things once again minutes later, lofting in an incredibly inviting ball that evaded everyone bar Rico Lewis, who headed behind for a corner. With City seeking a shift in momentum, Guardiola introduced £30 million summer signing Savin Ho to English football, the tricky Brazilian winger who proved so pivotal to Girona's success in La Liga last season. Savin Ho was quick to get involved in the action, dancing past opponents down the left-hand side and whipping a delicious delivery towards Erling Haaland, who had largely been starved of opportunities during the contest. But as encouraging as Savin Ho's cameo would have been to Guardiola, it was another South American starlet that stole the show on the day. Substitute Alejandro Garnaco very nearly created the first goal of the game, breaking away on the counter and slotting in Rashford for what appeared to be a simple finish, only for the goal shy forward to miss the target and hit the post. The Argentinian was quick to make up for his teammate's blunder, though, driving towards the box before firing into the bottom right corner in the 82nd minute, replicating his exploits from the FA Cup final three months prior to hand United a precious lead. With City on red alert, Guardiola needed a hero to come good at the death, enter Bernardo Silva. Latching onto an excellent cross from Bob, Silva got the better of Facundo Pellistri to head in for parity in the 89th minute, forcing the game to a nerve-wracking shootout. The Portuguese playmaker threatened to go from hero to zero after missing City's first spot kick, giving the Red Devils the advantage. But after Ederson brilliantly denied Jadon Sancho to level terms, Johnny Evans spooned his penalty over the bar to give the Premier League champions a shot at silverware. Overriding the memories of his shootout miss against England at Euro 2024, Manuel Akinji stepped up and fired into the roof of the net to bring the community shield back to the Eddie Hod. Manchester City avenged their FA Cup final loss to Manchester United with a 7-6 penalty shootout win over Eric Ten Hag's men in the Community Shield following a 1-1 draw in Saturday's Manchester Derby at Wembley Stadium. While both bitter rivals came close in the first half through young prospects, 
James McAtee struck the post while Ahmed Diallo passed when he should have shot from a few yards out, there were no shots on target before the break, the first time since October 2016 where there were no such attempts in the first half of a Manchester Derby. A disallowed Bruno Fernandes stunner would ostensibly be the catalyst for a frenetic second half, where the ex-sporting Lisbon man then teed up Alejandro Garnaco, whose low strike would seemingly prove decisive. However, the birthday boy Bernardo Silva, celebrating turning 30 in the best way met Oscar Bob's cross on the stroke of full time to force penalties, although the Portuguese playmaker went first for the Premier League champions and was denied by Andre Onana. An astounding Ederson stop from Jadon Sancho forced sudden death, though, and after a terrible effort from Johnny Evans, Manuel Akinji's final spot kick clipped the underside of the crossbar and ended Man City's community shield curse. The citizens had suffered three successive losses in the curtain raiser before the 2024 edition, including in last year's clash with Arsenal, but thanks to a combination of Silva, Ederson, and Evans, City hoisted the community shield aloft for the first time since 2019. Offered a rest from the first whistle as McAtee pulled the strings in the number 10 role, Silva watched on helplessly as Pep Guardiola's side struggled to make their mark in the final third, although it was not for a lack of trying from their wide men. Bob in particular sought to attack the Man United backline at every opportunity, and just seven minutes after Garnaco's opener, the Norway international came up with a critical contribution, getting to the byline and chipping in a delicate dink to the back post. Bob's cross was on the money for Silva, who caught Facundo Pelestri unawares and easily outmuscled the Uruguayan winger before heading in past a stranded Onana, who could only watch Silva's effort ripple the top corner. However, penalty roll reversal saw Silva stand and watch the Cameroon international beat away his low effort, prolonging the Portuguese's 12-yard pain following his memorable failure against Real Madrid in the Champions League, but his spot-kick gaffe ultimately did not matter in the end. Indeed, Swiss defender Manuel Akinji, who memorably missed the penalty that sent his nation crashing out of Euro 2024 in the quarter-finals to England, stepped up to the plate and exorcised that ghost with a terrific effort into the roof of the net, as Guardiola adds another winner's medal to his collection. For all of Man City's intricate build-up play and possession, Guardiola's side were otherwise found wanting in front of goal, as Onana received more than adequate protection from a patched-up Man United backline. Case Miro rolled back the years in the Red Devils midfield, while Fernandez was in the mood in the number 10 role and was responsible for the goal that sparked pandemonium from Wembley's red-clad end. With eight minutes of normal time remaining, the Portuguese playmaker found Garnaco with a slick outside of the boot pass, and his South American colleague took the game to the citizens' back line, driving infield as Guardiola's men backed off. Having been invited to shoot from 15 yards out, Garnaco accepted the offer and expertly found the far corner past Ederson's feudal reach, although the smiles on Red Devil's faces were wiped out just a few moments later. Alongside Diallo and Mount's failed link-up in the first half, Marcus Rashford, who is aiming to banish a disappointing 2023-24 campaign to the past, was guilty of wasting a golden chance, opening up his body but curling wide from a promising area. The England international was offered a gilt-edged opportunity to make up for that misdemeanor in the 75th minute, as Ten Hag's team turned defence into attack in the blink of an eye with a sizzling counter-attack, as Fernandez released Garnaco down the right. The Argentine did what was required of him with a beautiful curling pass into the unmarked Rashford, and the whole of Wembley were seemingly just waiting for the net to bulge, but the 26-year-old inexplicably struck the outside of the post. Replays showed that the ball struck Rashford's shin before clipping the frame of Ederson's goal, but regardless of which body part was involved, few could have foreseen the Englishman failing to find the target. On a day where he could have easily notched a brace for himself, Rashford departs with a familiar sense of attacking frustration, as his shooting boots continue to elude him. A horror moment for Manchester United veteran Johnny Evans gifted the community shield to Manchester City after a penalty shootout. Evans lifted his spot kick over the crossbar before Manuel Akinji tucked in the winning penalty as Pep Guardiola's side secured the first silverware of the season.
Alejandro Garnaco thought he had inflicted more Wembley misery on the four-time Premier League winners when he repeated his FA Cup final goal-scoring heroics from just 77 days earlier with nine minutes remaining. But another substitute Bernardo Silva, headed a last-minute equalizer for City to make it 1-1 and take the match to spot kicks. Andre Onana saved from Silva early in the shootout but Jadon Sancho, back for United following his bust-up with Eric Ten Hag, saw his kept out by Ederson. Evans then blazed United's eighth penalty high over the top before Akinji secured a 7-6 win for City. City were without their contingent of Euro 2024 finalists with England trio Phil Foden, Kyle Walker and John Stones rested as well as triumphant Spain midfielder Rodri. But despite whatever the relative merits of this annual curtain raiser are, Guardiola certainly seemed to be taking this one seriously when he gesticulated furiously at his coaching staff before storming down the tunnel at halftime. Jack Grealish was a surprise absentee while Kevin De Bruyne and Silva started on the bench. So it was left to their supporting cast to provide the early fireworks and Jeremy Doku was the first to show any attacking intent, nutmegging Diogo Dalot down the left before fizzing in a low cross just behind debutant Nico O'Reilly. Oscar Bob then fed James McAtee, who came closer still when he curled his shot around Onana and back off the inside of the far post. United, with Mason Mount and Bruno Fernandes the furthest forward and Marcus Rashford playing on the left wing, created their first chance just before the half hour when Ahmed Diallo curled a shot across goal and wide. And it was Ten Hag's side who should have scored moments later when Diallo played a 1-2 with Case Miro and squared the ball for Mount, who was just too slow to react for what would have been a tap-in. Rashford, who, like Grealish, was left out of England's squad in Germany, had an early chance to impress the watching interim national boss Lee Carsley when Case Miro found him unmarked on the left, but he stabbed his shot tamely across goal and wide. United thought they had taken the lead eight minutes into the second half when Lisandro Martinez played in Fernandez, who curled a superb effort over Ederson and into the net, but the Portugal star was flagged offside. A raft of substitutes for both sides followed, including debuts for young United midfielder Toby Collier and City's £30 million summer signing, the Brazilian winger Savin Ho. Then came a big moment for Rashford, Garnaco squaring the ball to leave the forward clean through, 14 yards out, unmarked and with just Ederson to beat, only for a hurried, first-time effort with his left foot to clip the post. A United goal was coming, though, and it arrived nine minutes from time when Fernandez swept the ball across goal and Garnaco expertly applied the finish. But with just a minute to go City hit back, Bob swinging in across and Bernardo Silva rising above Facundo Pellestri to nod home the equalizer and take the encounter to spot kicks. Following their slog in the community shield, both Man United and Man City now switch their attention back to Premier League matters ahead of their first games of the 2024-25 season next weekend. The Red Devils have the honour of playing in the campaign's inaugural match, away to Fulham on Friday night, two days before Guardiola's men start their title defence away to Chelsea. Thank you for watching this video.